Hey there YouTube, this is Patrick1969 for another review slash price guide. Um, in this video I'll be featuring the extended mobile suit in action guff. I'll be showing you uh, the things it comes with and then telling you how much you should be paying. So um, right away let's just show you guys what it came with. Zaku 2 machine gun. A good length of uh, the heat whip or heat rod, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see if I can get it out of the package. Uh, the shield, of course. And then, the various hands, and fists. He has actually two uh, machine gun hands, as you can see, can fit on either side. In fact, the box does show this. If you want to take a look, there you go. The back of the box shows a lot of different stuff that it can do. And on the inside it actually shows you a uh, comparison to the old mobile suit in action to the new one. I can't because I sold mine. Anyways, I paid around uh, I actually got two of these for a pretty good deal. Uh, one was in a lot of um, extended mobile suit in action figures and then the other one was for oh gosh I can't remember what it was for either fourteen or nineteen ninety nine and uh, shipping was uh, six dollars for it so pretty pretty good price um, I got it from a seller on eBay the first one I got by itself uh, was from a seller on eBay called Anime King and uh, he has a bunch of different um, mobile suit and, uh, extended mobile suit and action figures and uh, this was just one of them um, so anyways here's all the things I can do you know, we've all seen Mobile Suit in Action extended figures. Unfortunately, the Guff's eye doesn't move like the uh, extended Zaku's, but that's okay. It's still pretty uh, amazing. A nice dark blue color to it. Very menacing. It's nice. Has all sorts of joints and whatnot. Anyways, it also comes with a heat sword. Or, uh, you know, I don't really know if it's called a heat sword. But anyways, it comes with all sorts of various things. Um, if I had to say something bad about it, it would have to be the shield here. Attaching this shield is actually, you take this hand off and you put it over on, on, the, uh, on the wrist. And it's, it's, it actually stays on pretty loose. Let me see if I can... Broke it. Let me see if I can see it stays on the it's supposed to stay on the arm like that. And I can't do it. <laughs> it's too hard right now. Uh yeah, that seems to be the only problem. It's loose. Not only that, um if I had to say this is a problem also, I forgot to mention this. Um uh, if you get the extended Mobile Suit in Action original Gundam, uh, it comes with parts to uh, replace for the arms. Um, it's supposed to um, have you simulate um, one of the scenes from the show. Um, the, the, the joints are so tight on here, you're going to have to warm up the plastic uh, in order to get it soft enough to put back on and take off and not break the figure. So there's that. <clears throat> So uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing special about this figure. It's one of those army building figures that you know you can just accumulate and uh, makes your shelves look good or something. Um, so yeah, around twenty, twenty-four to twenty-five dollars, depending on what the shipping is. Um, if Anime King, the guy who sold this to me, um, uh, could sell this to me for 14 to 19 dollars or something like that and uh, six dollars shipping then you should have no uh, no problem being able to find it for that price 
Um, and that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching this really uh, not so great review. I'm actually sick right now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching the review. And um, that's it. Oh, and look forward to a contest soon. I'll have that video posted soon. Um, probably after this. So thanks. Bye.